time. My name is Sai. Today we are looking at this. This is the Tudor Royal 41 millimeters day and date complication. Bit of a controversy when this one came out, uh, but for me, it's the perfect watch. Uh, I'll explain why as we go through the review. So let's have a look at this 41 mil sports watch from Tudor. Okay, everyone. So here we have Tudor's Royal, this uh, 41 mil sports watch integrated bracelet day and date complication roman numerals sort of quasi fluted bezel there or i think tudor's own take on the fluted bezel all in stainless steel uh, fantastic looking watch uh, i personally love the black sunray dial here with the all steel look it's a very muted sports watch um, it's understated but it's still dressy you can really kind of wear this uh, every day. This could be your only watch. And in fact, for myself, it will be the daily wearer in the upcoming months. So let's have a very quick look at the watch. The dimensions, as I said, 41 mil across. Uh, and then you have an integrated bracelet that tapers down nicely to 20 mil. So the bracelet itself is five link. So you think uh, of Big Brother Rolex, their five link designs something like the Jubilee bracelet. Um, it's not a Jubilee bracelet at all, of course, but it is those five links. And the links are small, so you get that nice silky feel on the wrist. Uh, satin, a bit of polish on the intermediates there, and then polish on the shoulders. It is a bit uh, rattly, a bit like an old Rolex, really, uh, but that's because it's only joined to the case by these two small pieces here. Um, so I said, it is integrated. The clasp is... Obviously, single fold swing arm, um, decent thick gauge steel, and it does have the ceramic pin snaps that you get on Tudors now, just so that the uh, metal can't aggress there as you wear it over the, the months and the years uh, and cause wear there. So that's thoughtful touch. Um, but again, you know, we're, we're talking about a bracelet on a £1,700 watch, not, uh, you know, in the thousands of pounds. But the links are removed by screws so another bonus there for this price point so if you have a look i have an 18 centimeter wrist and the 41 fits excellently um, you can see here it's quite short anyway across the top but um and it's very thin as well less than 10 mil you know this is going to get under any cuff um, even with that that kind of bezel there that's sticking out over the top and the sapphire. So the case itself, as I say, is all stainless steel, high polish. You see me there in the uh, in the reflection. And then we have this bezel, which I think is the most interesting talking point about this piece. It's not a fluted bezel, as you would find on a Rolex President or Rolex Day Date. It's actually very similar to Omega's Constellation bezel. If you go and have a look at one of those or Google one of those, you will see this sort of alternating um, scallops finish and then polish. It's actually very, very reminiscent of that bezel. Um, and it does catch the light, but not in a way uh, a fluted bezel on a Rolex president will catch the light. But again, as I always say to people, you know, don't buy a Tudor simply because you can't get a Rolex. It's never going to scratch that itch for you. Um, so don't do that. So we have applied indices, Roman numerals, a bit of controversy with the top here because you have that kind of cut off Roman numerals to give you the cut out for the date. Some people don't like that. I don't mind it. But again, it's one of the talking points of this piece. Black Sunray dial, all really nice, simple. Tudor Geneva there, um, Tudor crown, uh, Tudor shield even on the crown. And as with most Tudors, although some of the really newer ones are starting to put sapphire uh, display backs on, which I personally don't like. I like this old school Rolex and Tudor type solid case, but you get more money for your uh, medal for your money. Uh, and I just think it, it, it's a cleaner look, you know. We know it's automatic. We don't need to show off. Speaking of the movement, this is, of course, an ETA caliber Tudor. So it's an ETA 2824. Um, so you have a screw down crown, 
100 meters water resistant. So, you know, it's a sports watch, as Tudor claim, um, and it does hack. So, you know, it does hack there. And then there is a quick set for the day and the date. So, you know, you can cycle through that quite happily. Um, and there is that quick set function there and it will tick. And then, as I said, it does hack as well. So you've got a 38 hour power reserve, standard ATA 28242. They haven't lowered the beat rate like a lot of the swatch group models do in order to enhance the power reserve. You're still only getting 38 hours, but you are getting, as I've said in other videos, and I prefer, a smoother second hand sweep. So for me, it's a great movement. It's bulletproof. It's going to last forever. Um, what they have done as well, which um, if you look on videos where they, they kind of open these up, the movement is only about 29 mil across. However, they've put a metal movement holder in rather than a plastic one. So it really gives a bit of weight to the watch. And, it, and you know, it feels... Um, feels expensive on the wrist it certainly feels more than you know the actual price of the piece which i say is around about 1700 pounds here in the uk um i appreciate that on the gray market they're a bit more because these are seen as rare i mean i don't think they're that rare i've seen them on in shop windows um right here in the uk available for sale so i think you will easily get one of these um it's worth noting that the day date is only going to be on the 41 mil model the royal comes in four different sizes you've got a 38 a 32 and 28 all of those are just date only complications so if you want the day date you're gonna to have to go for the bigger watch uh, but i think it's worth it uh, for the extra bit of money and i think the day date this look particularly is is that classic look that you get from the tudor rolex family uh, and that's why for me this is is the perfect all day sports watch um, for the everyday wear. Okay, everyone, so a very quick wrap up on the Tudor Royal. Um, as a value proposition, as an investment, I think you can't really go wrong. As I said, the grey market, these are already going for sort of two and a half, three thousand pounds, which is crazy to me because they can buy them openly in the shop for 1700 quid. But the fact is, you're not losing money on this at all. It's a much better proposition than something like a Taglier. Um, or any kind of brand at that price level that's going to instantly lose money. Um, as something to wear as a daily wear, very comfortable, very silky on the wrist. Um, it's very accurate, although it's not a chronometer or anything like that. It's going to be uh, a great daily driver. And of course, you have the added uh, date disc and the day disc function. So it's a great functional watch. It looks great. You can wear it in any sort of attire, whether you're wearing a t-shirt and shorts, um, a suit, you know, even a black tie. This, especially in this colorway with the uh, the steel and the black is gonna go with anything. You can get this model with gold on it. Uh, and it also comes in a blue sun radar, which was very popular. So have a look at those uh, if you are thinking of getting Ron, because there's gonna be a version there for you. There's there's about 50 variations of this piece. It's, uh, it's very, very varied on what you can have gold or steel sizing no day uh, no day sorry the day date you know it's a it's a great piece uh, and really the value uh, when it comes to other swiss watches it is fantastic so i highly recommend this watch um, and i just want to say thanks for watching thanks for sticking with me um, please feel free to like or subscribe to the channel plenty more watch content coming your way soon so thank you very much i'll see you all soon